What's up? In case you guys are new to the page, don't really know me well, my name is Carcino. And every time we look around, we always have something new come into the, to the fray, you know, and when you hear about a situation that's been catching national attention for years, the Santonia Brown story and how, you know, different events and things were coming its way, you started to see um, a pattern of events started to transpire. Now, Santonia Brown has announced her relationship and marriage while she was locked up in prison to a Christian rapper. Now, she went and got her degree and everything while she's been locked up all these years. I'm quite sure we all know the Santonia Brown story as much as we've heard it through the news, so there's no need to rehash that here. Now, after she was let free from prison, you know, um, during this time, and now she has a book coming out, she has all of these huge financial opportunities ahead of her, as she was able to graduate, like I said, while being locked up, taking advantage of the system education while she was there, she still hasn't really had a life education and of dealing with a lot of manipulators. Yeah, she's been victim to manipulators before in the past when she was much younger. So now people come, they, you know, manipulators come back in different shapes and different forms. As you can see here, people hope this isn't the case. But now you see Santonia Brown is uh, dating Jamie Long, a so-called Christian rapper who just magically end up meeting her in prison and marrying her from prison. Sometimes you got to be leery of these people who would marry people that's locked up. You've seen it in many occasions. People locked up, get it's women that go and search the internet looking for guys who are like imprisonment and all of these different things and go, wow. Okay, here's a guy I need to focus on. This man right here. Oh, I can go and get him. So, when you see these... <clears throat> Sorry about that. When you see these events take place, what goes through your head is like, how? How did this slip through the cracks? How did this man find her? You know, and she sat down and did an interview, and now she revealed to the world that her and her new husband are expecting a child together. And the way he's all, like, front line and center, trying to be in there for an attention, you know, people were happy for her. Because they was like, she's been through so much. You know, this is just pure happiness. This is pure happiness. So, this is a good thing. And it appeared to look that way. It appeared to look like this is genuine. This is good for her. That's the way it looked on the surface. But it wasn't that way. As we didn't know, a lot of people didn't, that the former singer from the group Total, if you remember Total, anybody remember the group Total? All right. I guess I'm the only one. Well, Pam from Total, she was dating and married in 2013, Jamie Long, the Christian rapper. So they were married for all oh, about six years. And through this six years, he was manipulative, controlling, 
and what she describes him as an abusive manipulator. She breaks it down and she's trying to warn, protect your money. Okay, protect your money and your kid. Now, she married this guy in 2013. They just got divorced in February of 2019. That's when the divorce was finalized. So, him and Santonia has been married for less than six months. She's pregnant. And Pam went ahead and said that that guy is clout chasing for attention by marrying her. And she's like, man, protect her and her money. Because this guy here is diabolical. And he is such a manipulator. The way this man pursued her is the same way he did me, she said. He came and found me using the same card. He was a Christian artist. So she's like, may the Lord protect her and her money. It's about who she is in the public eye and what she has. By her having this face in the media, it helps him to have a chance to be around what he deems as the elites. So he can hide behind his handsome looks and being a good man, but God knows his heart and exposure is coming. So... Everybody's been going to his IG page, dogging him. Talking about, don't trust him. Girl, stay away. And everything you see of him is with Santonio Brown, and he's really, really cloud chasing. And if you look at his IG, it's hard to say any way, shape, or form. This guy is not, this, this is like something you don't really do. You get it? This is something a clout chaser would do. But for her, he's giving her what she needs. He's giving her some stability, some, like, true love. But that's the way the manipulators work. They come in and make it look and appear as if they're there for you. They give you a little bit of something you've been lusting for so they can get what they want down the road. Now, why can't we just get to a case where we can weed these guys out? You know, she was fortunate that he had been married before, who just got divorced in February, and here it is, you already pregnant in less than six months of being married. And dating this guy. Which means that she genuinely, truly don't have the right people around her to keep her away from people like this. You know, we can, you know, we've been in the world a lot, so we definitely know we could see how this could be a problem. And for her, you know, she's been locked up all this time. You know, so this is, you know, something new for her. But, you know, 
We all know why she was in jail. He played with her the wrong way. She might be back again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done.